The operation of Laos China Railway will bring numerous investment and development opportunities to Laos among countries under the Belt and Road Initiative while driving growth of tourism and exports, said country representative of the Food and Agriculture Organization or FAO to Laos, Mr. Nassar Hayat. The China-Laos Railway, which took five years to build from Kunming, China to Vientiane, Laos, came into operation in early December 2021. Lao PDR is in a very unique position within this region. We have all the natural endowments, land, water, a very hard-working farming community, and most of our products are still very, very organic. Now, this is the Mr. Nassar Hayat said that connectivity enhancement along the railway line will be center stage in a changing landscape for Lao agriculture and forestry sector livelihoods in the years ahead, with implications for farmers, consumers, public policymakers, international partners, and private sector investors alike. Taking advantage of connectivity between producers and domestic and international markets, including the world's largest China plus ASEAN, and a wider world beyond requires the enhancement of Lao agri-food systems. Improvements to agri-food systems are also crucial to improving rural livelihoods, nutrition and poverty reduction in Lao PDR. A number of opportunities exist in the context of the Lao PDR to offer a springboard for the country and to accelerate its progress. Now this is the opportunity that we see. With this comes in this historical moment when Lao PDR is going to become or is already becoming uh, from a landlocked country to a land-linked country. We are going to have this high-speed Lao China Railway that connects Wenchian, which is on the border with, with Thailand, all the way to the border with China in the north. So this opportunity provides us to transport goods, services, as well as products, not only within the country, but beyond the country. And so this opportunity exists, and we need to take this opportunity uh, to, to make uh, life more comfortable, to, to, to improve the livelihoods and lives of the people in the country, especially the farming communities in far-off places. The country representative of the Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO to Laos, said in an interview with the Lao National Television that Soft and hard infrastructure centered on the Laos-China Railway provides significant opportunities for improved market access and the exposure to competition and innovations necessary for agriculture and rural transformation. Lao PDR can address poverty, malnutrition and inequality among households that have not fully benefited from the economic growth by promoting inclusive and sustainable agricultural value chains, assisting stakeholders, in particular small family farms, to participate in regional and international markets effectively. Now in terms of challenges, I would say there are a couple of challenges that we in this country face. One of the major challenges is, is the capacity of the farmers to produce for the market. So how do we tackle that? We tackle that with an enabling environment, with more capacity building, as well as uh, with information sharing. And the second issue that I, as FAO representative, see in the country is, is the transportation mechanism, the linkage to the market. That is being resolved with this, with this railway. So we have an opportunity and we know what the challenges are and together the Lao PDR government, especially the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, is working to address them. Mr. Nassar Hayat said the railway opens up a trade route between the country and China and will thus create jobs and improve people's livelihood. 
adding that the Laos China Railway is of great significance in promoting the economic and industrial development of Laos and the whole of the region. In the, in the context of Lao PDR, I think we have to find a balance between the import, import substitution, as well as uh, selling high value products to the world outside so that we can, we can make more money for the farmers, for the country, and make more contribution to the national GDP. Now this transition will happen slowly. It's a gradual process. We cannot close our borders. We are living in the times when borders cannot be closed and should not be closed because that will have other impacts and implications on the national economy. But we have to use our advantage as a country to make more money. Maybe it makes economic sense to import some cheap food and sell some expensive uh, non-food items to the world outside which is all right. We, we are living in a world which is very, very closely connected. So I would say uh, import substitution, local production should all be based on making agriculture more profitable for the farmers. A report published by the World Bank indicates that through the connection with the Belt and Road, the China-Laos Railway will benefit the latter's tourism industry. The opening of China Laos Railway will greatly facilitate transport between the two countries, creating the conditions to attract more tourists and promoting Laos' social and economic development.